Moini, healer and educator of Afghan women. Making a difference in your world. In 2001, Ferry Moini traveled to Pakistan where she volunteered in a refugee clinic helping to deliver babies. She says the lack of supplies was shocking. There was no bed sheet, no hot water, no heater at all. During the delivery, unfortunately, the electricity was gone and they didn't have the electricity and we have to use the flashlight. I felt sick and I, I was, my tears was running through my face and everybody was looking at me and saying, what is wrong with you? I said, what is wrong with me? What is this? I mean, it's, it's so inhuman. With so much need and so little money, Moini began thinking about what she could do to assist the people of Afghanistan over the long term. With help from the service organization Rotary International, she raised nearly a quarter of a million dollars to build a school in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. The school opened in 2004. But Moini noticed something that troubled her. There were few girls beyond the age of 13 in school. I find out they don't like to go if they have male uh, teachers. They need female female teachers. Again, with help from Rotary International, Ferry Moini raised enough money to hire 13 female teachers, allowing hundreds of girls to finish high school. All the while, she thought of ways to improve the education of girls and young women. Her latest project, an all-female dormitory at Nangarhar University. If they don't have a dormitory or a safe house or a family member, they will not send them. They will not send their girls to, for a higher education. During eight years and 11 trips to Afghanistan, Ferry Moini says she has encountered some criticism from local men, but for the most part, she says they seem to accept her and her efforts. Moini says the best way to educate women in Afghanistan is to educate men as well, convincing them that schooling their sisters and daughters will benefit society in the long run. I'm Paige Collick for VOA's Making a Difference in New York.